All right, I'm William Bragg here with the Freeholders and speaking to the trifecta of the Kensington Area Against Prevention Point in Kensington. If you folks will kindly speak one at a time, announce yourself clearly so I can do a lower third on you and give people your name and your title, please commence. Let me know what you think about this safe house Kensington. I'm Sandy Pereira and I am the creator of the group Philadelphia Citizens Against Safe House to try and unite all the people in Philadelphia who don't want safe injection sites here. I'm Richie Antipuna. I'm a longtime activist in the Kensington area. I started the Kensington Against Prevention Point Facebook site. And we're trying to get the word out against Prevention Point, against the safe injection sites in Kensington or anywhere in the city. My name is Dennis Payne. I'm the president and founder of the Army McPherson Kensington Town Watch. I'm not against recovery. I'm just against how things are being presented to the community. We need to get organized and we need to do it soon. It's more than just a safe injection site. It's about the youth of our nation. That's what's at risk. That's why we're standing here today. Uh, safe house, safe injection site in Kennington is already a done deal. Take a look around you. You've been looking around for 50 years now. You've been watching the deterioration of this entire area, this entire city, this entire people. Simple fact and simple truth is we can't continue on like this. This is not how we're designed to operate. It's not how we're designed to function. Reincorporating Kensington under a conservation easement and raising Philadelphia up as 51st state, sealing Penn's charter of privilege over us, is about the only hope we have at this point. You can see how bad it is out here. I know it's not going to go away with nothing. And you don't have the luxury of a dictator that can just come in and say, well, this region of people, they're all dead now. This region of people, we're going to kill all of them now. This region over here, we're going to poison all of them. This region over here, we're just going to go in and take them out in the middle of the night. This is America, it's the United States, where people have rights, where each citizen has their own personal rights to be an individual, to be a person, to work and to worship. And our politicians need to remember that. And if they went off course for that, that's fine. Raising Philadelphia up as the 51st state is going to remedy that. And taking control of that $6 billion and immediately acting to see what's going on with the 32 million, we're going to get a lot of players up close and personal. And the people will be coming forward. These not for profits, they will be coming forward to list underneath the Freeholders and Pearson Square Public Library Civic Association and the Kensington Chamber of Commerce. And then they will be engaged to do what they need to do. I can't do their jobs for them, they can do their jobs. And that's the entire flaw in the, in, the, in the ointment here. They haven't been. But now they will. Until then, we have the authority, and we have the word, and we have the wisdom, and we have the models, and we have the example, and we have each other. This is America. We built it. It means something. Don't let anybody else tell you it means otherwise. Tell them to go pound salt. Yeah. Progress is going on without you. Put we'll back our film, we'll back our industry, we'll get back our jobs. It doesn't go well people's obedience to it. That's, that's what's in question. And we have laws to cover that. And we have definitions of those laws. Sandy, I'm so glad that you're here and representing the community the way you represent the community. As I've told people, I myself am pro-site, but without the needles. Uh, but I'm interested, as you are my sister and my neighbor here in Kensington, I'm equally interested in standing for your point of view as well. Uh, without any condition, this has to be done from the inside out, not the outside in. What is your vested interest in this, Sandy? Um, well, I just think that safe injection sites aren't going to help the community or the addicts involved. I think that the only people who are actually going to benefit from safe injection sites are the people who are intended to profit by them. Um, I think that we should instead invest the money that is supposed to go to safe injection sites toward long-term treatment and towards fixing our already existing and broken treatment system. See, uh, Richie, as a brother of Kensington and of the brethren of the hood, what is your vested interest in this, sir? My vested interest in this is that this is my community. And if the community doesn't speak for the community, then who speaks for the community? The politicians? That ain't who I won't speak for my community. Because you can look around here, I don't see any politicians and never do. Not even during election time, you don't even see politicians in Kensington. So, I mean, that's how low on the total poll we are. I wish that everyone else could come out here and join. I mean, we all have a voice, and we all need to use it. Your voice is not to be heard 
typing on a Facebook page comments. Your voice needs to be heard out here on the streets. This is where we need you. It does work on Facebook, but we get results out here. I got, I, got, I framed you. I had the makeup, but you can leave the hair. I framed you just right, Dennis Payne. I know you. I know you, Dennis Payne. What's that? Okay. All right. If we get that mix, that that makeup, we will frame them. One more time, Dennis. Take it from the top. Why are you against us? What, what's your best interest here? My invested interest here is I was born here. This is my neighborhood, my family, my friends, my associates all live here. And this is our neighborhood. And we're tired of people coming into our neighborhood telling us what's good for us. We need to come together, stand out, and make our voices heard. We're going to have a couple events coming up in this March. One, March 14th at McPherson Square. Your presence is needed really badly. This is not just about our children here in Philadelphia. This is a national issue. We need to make a national loud voice. This is to save the youth of our nation. This is to save our communities. This is to make you safe. I was born here. This is my neighborhood, my family, my friends, my associates all live here. And this is our neighborhood. And we're tired of people coming into our neighborhood telling us what's good for us. We need to come together, stand out, and make our voices heard. This is not just about our children here in Philadelphia. This is a national issue. We need to make a national loud voice. This is to save the youth of our nation. This is to save our communities. Philadelphia, Kensington, and America, God bless.